During the visit, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visited a memorial to fallen Ukrainian soldiers in Kiev. Scholz laid a tribute at the memorial as he paid his respects alongside Zelensky. Another stop on the visit was an exhibition of drone equipment in Kiev, showcasing domestically produced drones, as well as those created in Ukraine in cooperation with German companies. Zelensky and Schultz also visited a military hospital in Kiev. The two leaders talked to soldiers about the injuries they sustained during fighting in the Kharkiv, Luhansk, Donetsk and Sumy regions and the course of their treatment. Schultz's visit comes ahead of an early German election expected in February. As the campaign gets underway, Schultz has pointed to Germany's status as Ukraine's second biggest weapons supplier, while also highlighting his prudence in working to prevent the war escalating and refusing to deliver Taurus long-range cruise missiles. For individual weapon systems, we have a certain judgment as to whether a deployment is right or not. This has to do with the range and the need to control the targeting. And that's why we said not there. This doesn't lessen our support, which is very wide-ranging. And it is important for me to say, will remain wide-ranging. Scholz has been cautious about talk of fast-tracking NATO membership for Ukraine. In recent months, he has emphasized the importance of finding a path to peace, while stressing that it must not be chosen over Ukraine's head. When asked when would be the right time to invite Ukraine to join NATO, Scholz said the following. NATO hat Beschlüsse zu diesem Thema gefasst, die auch einen Weg zeigen und beschrieben haben in Vilnius und Washington. Und die habe ich uneingeschränkt unterstützt und halte sie auch so für richtig. Germany has already supplied five Iris T systems, three Patriot systems, and over 50 Gepard self propelled anti aircraft guns. The aid being delivered this month will include another Iris T system and more Gepards. More military aid is expected to come in 2025.